Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chunky here back again with another motherfucking video. Okay, you guys, so we got a good topic for you today and we got some bomb ass food. So I got me a nice little wet burrito and I got me two tacos just to try the tacos, see if they're good here because I've never ate at this place before. This is the place right here. I mean, I got the orange bang and it has the place on it. So it's inevitable to show you the place. Sometimes I don't show you the place because I like don't know if it's good yet. And sometimes it's just like, it's all right. So the orange bang is like very, it's all right. It's very sugary. I wish I would just had a Diet Coke, but I wanted to try the orange bang. Like orange bang just like, so like, it brings me back to being a little girl. But that orange bang is like not banging. Um, It's too sugary. That one, mmm. Mm, the meat is good so far okay so far so good okay so today's topic is do i think i'm famous and um how does it feel you know i get these questions a lot and um the reason why i wanted to talk about do i think i'm famous is because um like you know family members and people hit me up and um you know they're like oh you're famous like you're famous and I don't know, they kind of say it in a way where that I get offended. And I'm like, you know, I shouldn't get offended because it's kind of like a compliment. But at the same time, it's like they're like they're passing it off as a compliment. But at the same time, being like, oh, you're famous. You Oh, you think you're famous? You know, like they might as well say that. Like they might as well be like, oh, you think you're famous? You know, and like I've even had a friend. Oh, this wet burrito is um, cabeza, all cabeza. And I love cabeza meat because it's really easy to eat. It's not too chewy. It's like really moist and mm, mm. Oh, wow. This is delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They say it in a way where the way they say it, it offends me rather than being like, oh girl, like, oh my God, you're famous or you're so famous or something. Like, it doesn't seem genuine when they tell me it. You know, it seems like, I don't know. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm going to like answer this question. Do do I think I'm famous? And I'm going to also talk about people coming back in your life. People talking to you just because you're famous or just because you have a lot of numbers or just because you're on social media and you have like a lot of people following you and shit. So I'm going to talk about that too. First, I'm going to show you my shirt. First, I'm going to show you my shirt because I want you guys to see it. It's cute. So, this is my shirt. My pants. I just got some, like, blue jeans. And this really pretty satin shirt. Where I got this shirt at, I think I got it in Fashion Nova. For sure, Fashion Nova. I've had it for a while, but I never wore it because I never had like a really good bra. I got this bra at Victoria's Secret. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my shirt because you guys always ask. So I'm trying to like give you what you want, you know. Um, but this burrito is really bomb despite the orange bang being really sugary. And that just might be me. That just might be me because I don't like sugary drinks and I'm not used to it anymore. Mmm. This is banging. So, let's get into the topic. Here's um two little tacos at our store that I got. So, I'm going to try the tacos. First things first, they did not give me lemon. Did they give me lemon? Okay. Point taken off. Like, how could you not give me lemon? I have lemon. Should I go get a lemon and squeeze some lemon on it? Let me try without lemon. 
his cover. So, um, so do I think I'm famous? No, I don't think I'm famous. I don't think I'm famous at all. And maybe that's why I get offended. See that, that just popped into my head right now. Maybe that, cause I'm, I try to think, why do I get offended when people tell me that? Like, why do I get offended when people are like, oh, you're famous. Like you're the famous one. Like, aren't you famous? You know, things like that. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not famous. Like, I feel like famous people are like actors and actresses. And my daughter, last night I even told this to my daughter. I was like, she was like, mom, like, I forgot what she told me. She goes, mom, I wonder how it feels to be like you. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, how does it feel to be famous? I go, girl, I'm not famous. I was like, see, the thing about famous people. Mm. I'm definitely going to use them in. It has a salsa. I have some onion cilantro, but I need some rabanos, which are radishes, pepinos, and lots of lemon. That's how I like my tacos. But the meat is good. So, I was on here. The thing about famous people, girl, is that famous people are rich. Famous people are famous. Famous people, you know, um, just got it all. Like, they, and we're, like, you know, us over here, down here, you know, down here, all the way down at the bottom, we're struggling to get where they are, you know, and it's hard doing it down here. It's like, it's like, honestly, it's harder for, it's harder for us because we get all the numbers. We get, like, all the eyes. We get all the attention. We get all the clout without all the money and without all the perks of being famous you know without all the security without all the house on the hill you know because a lot of us get a lot of numbers sometimes like i have videos where i got millions of views you know and that pops off for me you know every couple of months i get a, a million million two million view video whether it be on TikTok or Instagram. I have videos on here that are million view videos. Now you get those views, but you don't have the security. You don't have, really, you don't have security. You don't have that house on the hill. You got to really work your ass off. And you what you gotta really get those numbers in order to achieve that goal, and it, you know it's it, it's like you see a lot of us working our asses off, and where as far as like singers and songwriters and actors and actresses, they do one movie and they got a house on the hill. They do one movie and they're set, you know. They get enough money to get up there. Non-apartment, a house, properties, you know, and it's just, it's just like, it's hard for us down here. And I don't feel famous because I feel like I'm still living a normal life. I still go to the laundromat, you know, I still shop at the 99 cent store. I don't got security. The only security I got are my fists. And believe me, my fists are fucking big as fuck and strong as fuck. If you haven't noticed if you haven't motherfucking noticed, you know what I mean? Like my, my knuckles have been through some shit and, um, you know, the only thing I got are my fist and whatever else, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day is that I really just got myself and I, so I don't feel famous. You know, I, I still got car issues. I still got certain issues that, you know, famous people wouldn't necessarily have. So I don't feel famous. Um, I feel respected though. I feel respected. And I feel like that's more important than being famous. I feel respected. I feel known. I feel like I do have lots of people that know who I am. I feel like I have lots of people that are willing to 
be there for me because who I because I've shown myself, I put myself out there and because I got numbers. So I feel like people kind of mingle with me because of that. Um So do I think I'm famous? The answer is no. So if any family members, any friends, anybody here that sees this, I don't think I'm famous. I don't like being called famous. I mean, who knows what God has in the stars for me? Who knows what this world has to offer me? I feel like, I feel like deep down in my heart and in my brain, I feel like I deserve the world I feel like I deserve everything and I feel like hey maybe one day I will be famous maybe one day I will be able to say I'm famous you know right now I could say I'm known by a lot of people I'm well known you know I'm known by a lot of people and I, a lot of people see me and a lot of people recognize me and a lot of people know me and I feel like I got respect but that's about it you know which is I feel like honestly Respect is better than anything else. I'd rather have respect from people than anything else. Um, I love... How does it feel... How does it feel to... Do this? Like I said, I kind of like, you know, kind of went over how I feel... How it feels to do this. Um... And, um... I feel... You know, people reach out to me. People have reached out to me from my past. You know, have asked me for favors, have asked me for this and that. Because they've seen, you know, my Instagram. Because they've seen my YouTube. Because they've seen my TikTok and stuff like that. And it kind of just like... I don't know. It kind of just makes me feel like, would you have reached out to me if I was just, you know, on Instagram with 100 followers... Would you have reached out to me? Would you have wanted to talk to me, call me, you know, give me your number and want to be my friend? Because if I, if I had, if I was just, you know, somebody that didn't have numbers, somebody that wasn't doing social media, you know, would you want to be my friend? I don't know. I don't think you would. I don't think you would want to talk to me. I don't think you would want to invite me. Because before, when I wasn't doing YouTube and I wasn't doing Instagram, I literally, like, wasn't getting anybody reaching out to me. You know? Um, like, no, like, certain family members or certain friends from the past, like, I'd see them, and they weren't reaching out to me, you know? And and I was like, it's okay. It's okay. Like, I don't, I'm not that type of person. I don't beg people to talk to me. I don't beg people to go anywhere, you know? I don't beg people to invite me. If you don't invite me, you don't invite me, you know? I'm not going to beg you to go. I'm not going to beg you to talk to me. I'm not going to beg you to be my friend. And that's on period. But, you know, there's some people that just see me doing YouTube, doing this, and they want, they're interested. And then another thing, too, is that I don't, I'm scared, like, to talk to people because I really get uncomfortable when they start asking me about, the first thing they start asking me about is YouTube. Oh, so you're famous on YouTube. Oh, so you do YouTube. And I know people are genuinely, genuinely curious about it. But me... I think about what would I do? What would Chunky do? I want to just go fucking asking people, oh, so you're famous? Oh, so what do you do? So how do you do it? So how does that work? Do you get paid? Do, how much do you get paid? Like, do they pay a lot? Like, I just wouldn't do that. Like, I wouldn't ask people that. No, um, that's weird. That's weird to me. No, I want to be asked that because... I don't want to be asked that because I don't want to be rude. 
Like, I'm gonna have to be rude if you ask that, because I'm gonna have to tell you that's none of your business. You know? Mmm. This burrito was bomb. But, that's one of the reasons why I don't really like talking to new people. And I kind of stay in my own bubble. Because, I don't want you to ask me. You know, you automatically start asking me about my YouTube and my Instagram. And, oh, I got a friend that sells this. Can you put it on there? Like, Baby, I just met you. Like, I, like, I, no, like, I can't. Like, I feel, ob I start feeling obligated to post people. I feel obligated to, you know, do things like that. And it, it, it's kind of like, okay, like, how do I know these people? I'm very picky on who I post. I post, like, you know, places I go get things done at hair place people I get my hair done from people that I actually know and people that I've actually interacted with and people that you know are just products I've already tried I'm not just gonna post something because if I haven't tried it like I'm not just gonna post something because oh I knew you back in high school or you know this person that knows this person that sells this stuff and I haven't even tried it yet you know, like I like to try stuff, make sure it's good, and then tell my people about it. I don't just like to fucking just post shit, you know. So it's 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 like it's kind of hard. I, like that's why I don't like to like hit up people that tell me, oh, hit this person up or whatever, like or hit me up or I'm just like, if I'm gonna hit you up, don't start asking me about my YouTube. Don't start asking me about my Instagram or how much I get paid and blah, blah, blah. Cause that's like, I don't ask you how much your job pays you, you know? Cause that's just weird to me. I don't do that. But that's all I'm saying. But with that being said, I love you guys. And I hope you like this topic today. Send me more topics. Let me know what else you want to hear from me. Let me know what else, you know, I know you guys like them ghetto stories and shit like that. So I'm going to think, I'm going to try to remember and go back and tell you guys a ghetto story. Cause I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to tell you guys a story from like my childhood and shit. But I just got to remember because life has been so good for me, you guys. Like God has been so good. Um, I have really haven't really been through like I, and some of the things I can't talk about. Like some of the things that I have been through, like I can't talk about. I have been through little things here and there. If you guys want to know kind of some cheesemas, I say cheesemas on my TikTok lives. Like I'd be saying shit. Um, but some things I can't say here. But... I'm going to try to find another story. Let me know what you guys want to hear. Let me go know what you guys want to see next. Um, this was something that I really wanted to just get off my chest and talk to you guys about. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and like, comment, share, and yeah, show the love. I love you guys. Stay chunky, chunky, beautiful. Peace.